There are two Donetsk, one in Ukraine and this one just inside Russia's border, a working class town and a trial that cleaves Russia and Ukraine. Nadia Savchenko is a Ukrainian soldier. I don't believe you have a right to try me, she says, and certainly not in a Russian court. One of the country's first female military pilots. But now charged with coordinating a mortar attack in 2014 in East Ukraine. Two Russian journalists died. Sarchenko was captured nearby by pro-Russian rebels. But her lawyers argue this video and intercepts from mobile phones show she was nabbed an hour before the attack. They say she had no part in it. This court is criminal, says Sarchenko. Jailed for 18 months, today she defended herself, not withering in spite of a hunger strike, her second. I see my sister. I don't see the cage, says her sister Vera. No matter how hard the Russian Federation tries to push their propaganda, the truth will ultimately come out. Her case has spawned an international campaign. Prison letters translated by a Toronto activist and posted online. I'm alive and free for as long as I act, and I always act. I never just sit here, I keep fighting. Nadia is a warrior, she's a fighter. The US, Europe and Canada have called for her release. Canada and this house should join our American and European allies. But there's been no response from Russia. It's, it's not a secret that we uh, Russians, uh, we like show trials. Uh, can change the court's verdict, because uh, this verdict uh, is not to be written by the judges. It's uh, already written in Moscow. Russian prosecutors will not discuss this case. They say their answer will be the verdict. If guilty, Sevchenko's lawyers say she has only one other recourse. That's diplomatic pressure on Russia to negotiate a prisoner exchange with Ukraine. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Donetsk, Russia.